Visit SayRack.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. Hi, Eric Grant from SayRite. In this video series, we're going to show you how to redo an entire power boat, the upholstery, the flooring, the side panels, and more, including this motor cover, and make a used power boat look brand new. It's true, you can buy a used power boat and save thousands compared to buying a new one, and you can make the entire thing look brand new, just like we did in these videos. The haul liner carpeting on this speedboat needs replaced. Here's what it looks like after spray gluing new boat blanket in its place. This is an easy DIY project. Let's get started and show you how it's done. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this carpeting up here and we're gonna put boat blanket up here. We're gonna glue it up here. We're probably gonna stop, well here is where it's cut. So we'll just pull this out. And we can kind of use this as a general pattern. We'll probably make it a little bit bigger for the boat blanket, but that's all the process is. This is our old uh, carpeting that was on the uh, sidewall. And this is boat blanket material, and this is the wrong side of the boat blanket material. I've laid it on here, and I want this side to be straight. So I'm gonna use a straight edge along this. And then this, I'm gonna have it oversized uh, up here by probably a couple inches. So I'm using a chalk uh, pencil here and putting a straight edge up against the uh, carpeting here. Uh, Cause this actually did fit pretty well here, but I am gonna go long here. So I don't have to worry about uh, not having enough material. So here I'm very close to that edge, a little bit uh, proud of it. In other words, there's a little bit more boat blanket material than carpeting, um, just to be safe. But as you can see, I'm using a straight edge here. And this stuff marks beautifully with this chalk. And we're gonna go long here. Uh, probably cut it right about there. And then up here, I'm just going to go the width of the uh, ruler, which is two inches extra. Okay, we're going to get rid of this dirty carpet. Yuck. Boat blanket material cuts beautifully with scissors. Next, we'll apply the spray glue to the hull and also the back side of the boat blanket material. We're going to use the uh, headliner adhesive available from Sayerite. You can also use 3M General Trim or uh, 3M Super Trim for this application. I'm going to be spraying here and I have uh, cardboard to keep from getting the flooring uh, with spray glue. And you just want to coat it well. Hopefully I don't get in the way of the camera. I'm going to start over here just to show you what, how it works. So keep the cardboard up against the edge. So I want to spray the whole surface. Usually I go vertical and horizontal, but for this I'm just going to go uh, horizontal. Usually I go like this as well. I'm just going to get a good coat on. And I want to get it up there into the top because I'm going to have extra flooring. And any wires I want to try to move. If I get some spray glue on the wires, no big deal. And then I'm going to move my cardboard along as I go. And I want to get it close to the edge too because we don't want it to lift up. So we're going to do this to this whole surface where we're putting it on and uh, we're going to go all the way up to the front there and this is the back side of the boat blanket material if you get closer with the can you can get a little bit better coverage with this the further out you are the more spaghetti noodle it is so that's a better coverage thanks bill once the glue is tacked up it's time to install the boat blanket material to our hall so i have two people here so we can grab the, the uh, boat blanket and this is where it fits up at the front here so I'm gonna start up here I have some obstacles as you will always have obstacles why don't you put that in right down in there I am I'm gonna put the so I want to start with the flooring because that's the most important spot and I'm going to try to make it level with the flooring. And Bill's going to do the same. <clears throat> so we're starting at the bottom. 
and we're not concentrating on anything else. And you can take it up a little bit if it's not in the right spot and actually push it into the right spot. So we're securing the floor. And that's actually looking pretty good there. Is yours looking good everywhere? So far. All right, perfect. Oops, sorry. Oops, let's push that down a little bit. It's a little bit up. I'm going to get behind it and lift it up a little bit. Bill's going to push it down. There you go. Perfect. So, see, you can you have some working time here. That's the beauty of this. You have about a half hour. There we go. Nice. So, once the bottom or the floor is in, in place, we can start pushing it up and I've got this thing that this isn't normal in a boat there's some broken piece here uh, but I'm gonna have to go around it and then we're gonna smooth it out making sure there's no air bubbles in it and try to push the wiring out of the way if there's any wiring there is up here This stuff is easy to put down, as you can see, and it really does look great. This is 3M uh, adhesive remover, specialty adhesive remover. If you get any on the uh, uh, boat blanket material or the flooring, you can use this, and it actually does remove it pretty well. There are many odd shapes and curves that need to be covered. In this chapter, we'll show you how to pattern and cut those obstacles. I'm gonna take this old flooring off and we're gonna cut a piece to match it and wrap it in the same manner, probably because this is a locker that they put stuff in. That's why the seam's not on the back side. And there, this is gonna have an upholstered panel on the front. Here's a look ahead at the upholstered side panel. It hides it. So we'll cut a piece equal to that. So I have a piece of cardboard there and I've already put some spray glue on that. So that keeps it from getting on the, on the uh, boat blanket. And then we're gonna put it on this piece that we cut. Before adhering it, make sure that the glue becomes tacky. We'll wrap with the seam in front since the upholstered panel will hide it. So I really don't have any glue on the back side. I didn't put any on it. I only put it on the front side. And it looks like I'm going to have to cut a little bit away from the top. Eh, I'll just cut little notches in it. So here at the corner, I'm just going to take a razor blade so it comes around. Stick it down, and then the same thing here. We got to cut it right like that. Wrap it around. Doesn't come all the way around, but that's okay because this this is going to be a uh, upholstered panel. Yeah, we need to make it touch at the bottom. So I'm going to peel it up before it's cured completely, and we're going to push it down because it's possible to manipulate this stuff. So I have this piece here cut and I put it up against the, the hall here and I'm going to go a little bit big and cut a slit for this um, piece here to go around it. And that goes up to where I want it to go. And then I'm going to lay it against the, the hall here and then I'm going to use my chalk and I'm going to mark there, and then it comes out to here. Okay, and let's cut those two slots and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, we fit it back in here. And that's a pretty good fit and now we have to push it down here up against the hall and I need to mark it there you could also use pattern material for this which might be a little bit easier I'm gonna cut a slit here to allow, allow this to relax
So I'm going to mark it here. And up here, down to, and it comes around here. I can feel the edge right here of where it should be cut. So right there. Take it out and cut it there next. So we've cut it uh, to fit the area, marked it with the chalk, and I'm dry fitting still. And I think that looks pretty good. Along the front edge here, we'll just tuck this in a little bit here. Uh, I think it's going to work out well. We might use a razor blade to cut that off after we get it glued in place. And there's a little bit of excess here, but we'll just shove it into that corner. So we're going to glue the back of this. And I'm also going to cover up using some of the scrap here and glue on this because we need the glue on both surfaces. So I'm going to put this up here because this is just scrap stuff. And I'm going to put uh, some of this here to protect what we already have. And then I'll move that around to make sure we don't get any glue places where we don't want it. I got glue all over that. Because <laughs> it exploded. So we got a little bit on the boat blanket. I'm using my 3M specialty adhesive remover on a rag. I didn't spray it directly on that and it did come off pretty well. So our glue is tacked up on both surfaces. We sprayed it on the back of this as well and we're ready to mount it. It's not uncommon to get some of the glue on the outside of the boat blanket. Just use the 3M specialty adhesive That's remover good. and dip your rag in that or pour some on a rag, not on the boat blanket material, put it on the rag, and then wipe it off and get to it as soon as possible for better results. That's pretty stinking good. Got a little bit of uh, glue on the carpet here, but I can get that off. And that goes into that crevice pretty well. There's a little bit that just needs to be trimmed here, and I'm just using a razor blade, very sharp razor blade. And that comes off for a nice straight edge. That's typically the way that I pattern Sweet. the boat blanket material for odd obstacles. Here's what it looks like when it's done with that upholstered panel and cushion next to it. The port side is done. Now we'll do the same thing to the starboard side. We won't be showing that. Coming up next is the materials and tools list. Boat blanket material is available from Sailrite in a few primary colors. It is 72 inches wide, which means a little goes a long way. We used three yards for the port and starboard side and other areas in this boat that we found it necessary. That does not include the engine cover. We used a little bit more for that. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new videos when they become available. This video is part of our Speedboat Makeover series. Be sure to check out the other tutorial videos as we continue to make an old speedboat look brand new using upholstery supplies and tools from Sailrite. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sailrite, thanks for watching.